In this tutorial we're going to learn to work with Storyline slide layers and triggers. Now the example we use is going to be pretty simple, but you'll learn the essence of working with slide layers and triggers. So what we have here is a mocked up customer service slide. And let's say I've got my information, but at some point I may want to provide more information to the person who wants more information. So I've created this little Learn More button. When I click on it, it's going to show a layer. And then this button here, when I click on it, it's going to hide the layer. So let's see how we build this. You should have this slide in your downloads. So go ahead and open it up and you can follow along. What we have here is a slide. It's got some text on it, a picture, and then we have a button. Now what we want to do is create a slide layer that shows that video. So the first thing we need to do is create our layer. If you come over here, you'll see your slide layers. We're just going to click down here and click on New Layer. And then we'll title this and we'll call this Video. And then I can just click inside here to start working on the layer. In this case, I want to insert that video. So let's go ahead and insert Video from File. And then you should have this CSR Fundamentals class video. We'll go ahead and use that. And now the video is in here. And you can position it on the screen any way you want to. I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. And this is, this is probably good enough for me. Now let's go ahead and come back to our base layer. And I've got this button. And what I want to do is have a trigger on the button that shows this layer. So you always have to talk through your triggers. What do I want to do? When do I want to do it? In this case, I want to show a layer when I click the button. So let's create a trigger. What do I want to do? Show layer. And you'll see Show layer under the common options here. So Show layer. I select my layer, so Video. Show the layer Video. When, in this case, it's when the user clicks on that More button. So if we read through it, Show layer Video when the user clicks the button. Hit OK. We can see the trigger here. Let's go ahead and preview this. Now what I have is my Learn More button. I'm going to click on it. It shows the video. I can click on it. The video plays. So let's do a couple things. Let's add a play bar to the video. The other thing is this looks kind of sloppy, right? Because I've got this stuff covered up. The button's still active. I've got this background picture. So let's go ahead and get rid of all that extra stuff. And we just want to keep the title and the video. We'll come back to our video layer. First thing I want to do is I'm just going to click on the video. We'll go up to Video Options. And it's going to play automatically. And let's add some video controls. So this way I can start or stop the video based on my needs. And actually, I'm just going to have the video only play when it's clicked. And the reason I do that is because this way it lets the person have some control and they can figure out when they want to play the video. So we've got the video. Now the one thing we want to do is get rid of all this extra stuff. Let me show you how we do that. If you open up your timeline, you'll notice your timeline for your slide layer is exactly like your slide. So the only thing we have on our slide layer right now is the video. So I can see it here. But you also notice this base layer group. So if you open that up, this shows you all the items that you have on your base layer. So what I can do is show or hide those items based on a certain layer. So like in this case, on this layer, I don't want to show all this stuff because I want to make it look a little cleaner. So I'm going to hide the More button so you can see it's gone. I'm going to hide the text. Now you can see that's gone. Then I'm going to hide this background image. And you can see that's gone. So the only thing I'm keeping is the title text and our video. So let's go ahead and preview it and see what it looks like. We've got our slide. Click the button. This looks really nice and clean. The video plays. How do I get out of this layer? Storyline has a Hide Layer trigger. So let's go ahead and create a button and put a Hide Layer trigger on this layer. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Come back to our video layer. And then we're going to put a little button here that just allows us to close the video. So I'm just going to go to Insert. You can insert whatever shape you want to. I'm just going to use this little multiply shape. and I'll put it on the screen. Uh, this looks good enough for me. I'm going to title it and we'll call this. Um, I like to use BTN to let me know there's a button. And I'll say Layer. So that's my button to close the layer. Now what I want to do is put a trigger on here. So same thing. What do I want to do? When do I want to do it? I want to hide the layer when the user clicks. So I create a trigger. 
and then my action is hide layer and you can see hide layers right up here in the common so hide layer this layer when the user clicks that button hit OK now I can make my button look like my other button so if I come over here I'm just going to select that go to home I'm going to double click on format painter and that keeps the format painter selected then I'm going to come over to this I'm just going to apply that to this button and then click away. So what I was able to do is paint the format from that one button onto here. So if I go look at the states, you'll see I even have the states for that button. So now we should have a slide that lets me click and show a layer and then also click and hide a layer. Let's go ahead and preview this to make sure everything's working. So here's my slide. I'm going to click Learn More. That shows the layer. I can watch the video. When I'm done, I'm just going to click my really big X and that takes me right back. So you can see I can cycle back and forth through that. So one button has a trigger that shows layer. The other button has a trigger that hides layer. In a following tutorial, you'll be able to build a really nice tabs interaction where you'll combine states, layers, and triggers. So it's just a matter of practicing and then applying that to your e-learning courses.